Hello and welcome back to Kaiserreich. So, I need to explain a few things to some of you who might not be new, but to those of you who are new, welcome. Uh, Kaiserreich, of course, a very popular Hotvine 4 modification, uh, which I hope you should know since you clicked on my video. My videos do not have the kind of reach to pull in a ton of people who don't know what Kaiserreich is, but uh, on the off chance that you don't, Germany won World War I in 1919 instead of 1918, where it's traditionally lost, or the armistice was sort of signed and whatnot. Um, and the world looks a lot different. There's no Soviet Union in 1937. There's no United Kingdom. There's a Union of Britain. There's the Commune of France. There's the Socialist Republic of Italy, and so on and so forth. And the British King has been exiled to Canada. We're not going to go into... A full detail about everything that's been changed. I just want to give you the short uh, and sweet of it before we uh, jump into the game itself. Now, to those of you who are returning from my other series, of course, you might uh, have heard, but if you haven't, uh, I lost all save files regarding, or all save files basically, uh, on my entire computer because my C drive was spontaneously wiped when I returned from my uh, cabin trip. I have no fucking clue why, but. I'm done being sad about that, and we're going to continue playing video games. So, um, it's a good way to cope. So the um, thing I had planned, which you might be able to tell from the, th the thumbnail, uh, depending on how I go about that, was to play the American states again that we played uh, last time, except for the Pacific states of America, because recreating the situation that we had there would be way too complex and take too much time, so I can't be fucked. However, with the uh, Command of Syndicates of America, led by Jack Reed, which we played uh, way back, it's much easier to recreate the circumstances. Also, we're not play uh, playing any music. There we go. Uh, yeah, so uh, recreating that is much easier because I can use the game rules which they introduced to make the other socialist nations go totalist, and then we can just annex the entire country and restart the playthrough from the point of winning the Civil War. However, that's not what we're, do not what we're doing uh, today. Uh, today we're doing something else, we're playing a different part of the Civil War. In a different timeline, because obviously I don't have the old save files, so I can't go back and do what I originally intended, so now we're creating a new divergence point, a unique one, specifically for this playthrough, in which Yui Long, the Kingfish, becomes president. The governor of Louisiana wins the election, becomes pres president of the United States of America. Now, if you want to see the lead-up to to a civil war in America, you can go watch my old videos. Uh, they still are out there, and they still lead all the way up from the start of 1936, January 1st, 19 1936, to the civil war in America. Now, you won't see that lead-up here because I've already done that. Instead, I skip right ahead to Hugh Long the Kingfish is president, and... Apparently I failed. What? Oh, there, there it is. Time's up. Long's support in D.C. has finally bottomed out. General Douglas MacArthur marched into Washington, D.C. today to restore order, citing misgovernance and inaction on part of the president, which was putting the entire nation at risk of falling to radical elements. MacArthur's martyrs reminded many in D.C. of Cox's army in 1932, except these men are motivated to preserve the status quo, and were cheered instead of booed. Having been tipped off by AFP informants in MacArthur's command staff, Long was able to stay ahead of the traitorous general, and has escaped to New Orleans. MacArthur has chosen to inhabit the White House and coordinate an investigation into Long from the executive chair. Civil war is imminent. Now Huey Long is no longer president, and Douglas MacArthur has assumed executive power, the American Caesar. We're going to make another divergent point in case I would like to play as Douglas MacArthur in the future, which I said I will do at some point. So there we go, Dougie diverg Divergence saved, and let's continue and see what's happening. I can actually pass some uh, builds. I'm going to... I'm gonna wait. I can bypass it. Okay, never mind. Fight the anarchist. Okay, cool. What can Amer the American Caesar do then? I can do the U.S. Navy, I guess, in terms of focus trees. Well, let's do that. We won't really have time to do much. 
There we go. Jack Reed calls for action. Jack Reed is given a rousing, uh, a rousing a radio, given a rousing radio broadcast from Chicago, urging all his followers to rise up against the twin tyrants of General MacArthur and Huey Long. Within the hour, a number of governors across the Seal Belt have announced their support and declared both Huey Long and General MacArthur as having no true authority. The governors have bolstered by have been bolstered by Reed's supporters, who within days have overtaken army posts and erected roadblocks throughout the northern states. We will stand by the Republic. Now, Huey Long declares the American Union state. In a fiery speech in New Orleans, Huey Long has spoken about the need to fight both traitor General MacArthur and pretender Jack Reed. Both are tyrants that need to be toppled, and only the AFP under the guidance, or his guidance, can uh, cleanse America. He has gained ready listeners among a number of southern governors, all of whom have recognized that they recognize the authority of neither MacArthur nor President Reed. Stand by the country. Play as the AUS. Let's go. Uh, merge everyone into a single army here. <clears throat> um, that's not right. Hold on. Loyalist Garrison, you need to have a different icon, because that icon... Wait a minute. Why, are, why do I have the old icons here when I should be on NATO symbols? Yeah, I'm, I am on NATO symbols. That's interesting. Um, I'm using the... Well, if, if you can't um, tell, this is not how the game looks normally. Uh, and if you're new to this uh, channel, then please check the mod list in the description down below if you're confused as to why I've got these strange symbols around here. I'll do my best to try to explain them as we uh, go along. But essentially, uh, oh, that's cool, so I guess I get the old symbols as well now. Uh, essentially, these are the NATO uh, standardized symbols for like military, uh, military units and divisions and stuff of, of military units. So, uh, these guys were garrisons, so that is a G. They're quite weak. That might be too small. Something like that. I think th that this is a, um, a brigade. This is a, uh, like, this is a brigade, right? I think. So, so one is a brigade, this is a corps, and this is an army. Or a division, sorry. So this is a, uh, loyalist garrison corps. And you're allowed. Let's see if we can find a... I want to find some songs that are very, like, fitting to the AUS. But yeah, let's have a look at these, um... Why did... Oh, I may have not changed it, actually. I may not have uh, saved it. I thought I did, though. Let's unpause. Let's uh, have a look at... Also, they're not centered, which they're meant to be. That might be some... There might be something wrong with my mod. I'm not quite sure why. Uh, but yeah, so these, um... But Minutemen Infantry, those with his, uh, uh, like, long paramilitary, uh, which he used during the lead-up to uh, the revolution going on right now. I'm going to set up the uh, Minutemen as the, sort of, the backbone of our army. We'll actually just call them the Minutemen. And they will be led by... Who will lead the Minutemen? We've got... Oh, we've got a bunch of g uh, great generals, actually. We've got, um... Uh, Hicks Hodges uh, as uh, possible Panzer leader. We've got Joseph uh, Lawton Collins, who can be a leader for the infantry, I think. William Hood Simpson is also good for the infantry. We've got a bunch of good ta tank leaders, actually. And we've got, of course, George S. Patton as a field marshal, which is amazing. He would be an amazing field marshal for, like, uh, motorized and infant or sorry, motorized and tank uh, divisions. We've got an artillery specialist. That's awesome as well. He could lead the uh, army itself, and we can do some... Um, Actually, the, yeah, we, we could do some uh, something cool with um, with uh, with a bunch of artillery in our army. Uh, let's actually set Willem Hood Simpson to lead. Actually, uh, who who are you? There's a lot of um, inf uh, information on all these guys. West Point, of course. 
Matt George is Patton and George Marshall. George Marshall, of course, is not in our army. I think he's in Reed's army. Or he might be in the uh, the PSA, Pacific States. Uh, Lightning Joe. Lightning Joe, it's a cool name. Uh, Uncle, the Major of New Orleans at the time. Managed to get him out of... Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Uh, let's see. Fort Benning. Reached the rank of Lieutenant Colonel with the outbreak of the Civil War. Collins aligned with Patton within the army and both chose to leave southwards to join Hugh Long's forces. Okay. I'm trying to find if, if there's an uh, old leather face. Oh my god. So, uh, aviation division. So this is like a paratrooper guy. Air Corps, yeah. Became chief of pursuit section at, uh, at Air Corps Tactical School. Yeah, so this would be a paratrooper uh, leader. Leatherface. Old iron... Okay, old iron tits. Uh... Huh. Commando, that's uh, maybe a marine, marine man. And harsh leader... Recovery rate, that's bad for uh, for any sort of special forces. Because often they have to take uh, territory and stuff, and keep advancing after taking territory, I think, so... So he would be best for someone who's like, is only, uh, like, only duties to hold. Hold, like, some, in, uh, some territory and stuff. Um, I think, honestly, Hood is okay. I was hoping uh, some of them would be like um, straight up just say their background was in the Minutemen or something. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I want to have this guy, Lightning Joe. He's in, he sounds cool. And we'll have the motorized Minutemen, uh, led by someone like Courtney Hicks Hodges, but we had no no one with uh, specifically... Uh, <clears throat> sorry, specifically... Um, actually, we can maybe do a Clifton B. Uh, Cates, because he doesn't have any uh, traits. Oh, he was in the Marine Corps Reserve. Shit, he should probably be a Marine then as well. I like to sort of stick to... Um, not recovery rate, that's bad for motorized. Uh, I like to kind of stick to... Um, Leaders that kind of make sense, I suppose, as the uh, as the leaders of individual uh, units. I guess we'll do Hicks Hodges. I'm not gonna level him into. Actually, he does have infantry officer. Maybe leveling him into combined arms wouldn't be the worst. I I've heard these songs so many times. If you've heard, um, or if you've watched my. Um, if you've watched my uh, other USA videos, uh, you know that I'm. I'm not getting sick and tired of those songs, but I've heard them many times before. Mounted Mint Men, I guess we'll add them to Hicks Hodges' army. Uh, Garrison, we'll keep them... And we'll add them to, uh, to the larger army itself. The larger army will, of course, be led by... I mean, Patton is basically the head of our armed forces, I think. Chance to get wounded, army re reassignment. Uh, yeah, he's pretty good. Don't have command power, so I can't really change him around a lot. Chivalry specialist is really good, though, as well, because um, we're going to have a chivalry in most of our infantry, eventually. I'll do Patton for now, and I can split them up later on. Well, this is the Union Army, and Garrison here. Midman Garrison, I'm not quite sure what we're going to do with them. They don't really seem like they're that useful. We might actually... Yeah, we might change their, um, <clears throat> their um, stuff around to a different template, because we've got a better template here. See, so what can we do here? We can... From, from militia to fighting force, yep, that's going to be our focus right now. So for the only force, uh, uh, so far the only force the Kingfish has commanded have been small-time militias in urban environments. With the advent of the Civil War, many generals and, and army groups have deserted to join the real American government. 
and adapting our previous forces and hierarchy to these newcomers would be our top priority. Uh, no divisions in basic training, we should train some... Um, where are the Minutemen? U.S. Air Resistance, uh, AUS Garrison, AUS uh, Militia, AUS Infantry Division. That's uh, basically the Minutemen, I think. These guys are AUS... Uh, yeah, those are AUS Infantry Divisions, so we should probably train more AUS Infantry Divisions. Technically, I think we are sharing uh, designs with the other, um, other nations, like Loyalist Militia here, for example. It would be funny if you could um, change them. And it would change the army of um, Dougie MacArthur and stuff like that. Alright, let's see. Minutemen, we need to send you to the north here. My chief strategy when I do these things is usually to just capture the most valuable territory first. And that means taking the east coast or as much of it as possible as early as possible. We got some free civilian factories. Let's, um... So we're building in southern Texas. Good. Um... Let's not build another uh, civilian. Let's build more military factories. And let's build that in northern Texas. We have decisions. We can recruit militias, which we'll do. Uh, let's, let's recruit in Georgia first, because it's close, uh, close by. It's going to take 12 days. That will spawn event troops over here. I'm going to unpause. Standoff in America. Ten standoff has erupted in the United States as General Douglas MacArthur and the American military have taken control over the government uh, uh, from its democratically elected president. To, as he stated in a national broadcast, prevent inaction from leading the United States into the hands of radicals. From Chicago, Jack Reed supporters have declared MacArthur's government illegitimate, as has the southern supporters of Huey Long, based in New Orleans. And the Pacific governors, under the leadership of Governor Frank Merriam, all have given a deadline by General have have been given a de deadline by General MacArthur of 30 days to either stand down or face arrest and execution. Considering all sides are rapidly raising forces, the idea of, uh, that America seems headed into a second civil war seems almost certain. Okay, so we just got more divisions. Oh, these are the old... Um, these are actually the infantry divisions, I think, that we had uh, as the United States, maybe. But they're now also AUS, so I'm going to assign them to the Minutemen. Riots in New England and New York. In recent days, syndicalist militias have been struggling and failing to take control in the northeastern states, from New York and New Jersey all the way up to the coast of Maine. So far, governors in the region have cl uh, clamped down hard on the violence, though the result has been a series of violent riots in Boston and Buffalo. Not to mention a wave of uprisings still ongoing within New York itself. Citizens are on the edge, or are not on edge, and governors have denied the federal government permission to raise local militias in the area fearful of increasing tensions further. A few New England governors have reported, or are reported, to be quietly asking the Canadian government to intervene, should worse comes, come to worst. So we may see Canadians taking over New England. Federal control maintained in Minnesota, so this is these are events basically telling us whether or not certain states will flip to a certain side. We need to build a loyal navy. We will, of course, focus. We have coastline, and the coastline here is shallow sea, shallow sea. Meaning, submarines are very visible in these regions, and positioning is hard and whatnot, and so on and so forth. But other ships get minus five. Uh, okay, so every everyone has ba a bad time positioning, but I believe destroyers do operate better in shallow seas, but. Uh, they operate best, I think, in yeah fjords and archipelagos. That's where they excel. Cruisers would be good for the range, but we don't necessarily need the range, because all we're doing is fighting on this side, I think. At least for now. It's going to be a while until we reach the west coast, so I think we're going to go with destroyers. We shall convert ships. Oh, actually, no, it takes way longer to build cruisers. We shall convert ships to cruisers. Let's have a look at our navy first before we do anything. We have nothing, so... It takes longer to build cruisers, so we're going to convert cruisers. Southern governors meet in Baton Rouge. 
A large crowd recently gathered outside the State House in Baton Rouge to congratulate Huey Long for defying the federal government. Oh, this, this event. News agencies were soon to arrive on the scene when suddenly the crowd began unfurling the battle flag of the old Confederacy. Sensing an impending political disaster, Huey Long had his men confiscate these radical symbols of the Civil War. When the governors arrived, the press only saw the image of a defiant America red, uh, determined to fight the illegitimate powers of federal corruption and syndicalist oppression. The governors are now meeting with Long inside the State House to determine the proper response to the federal government's deadline. So, uh, Huey Long purposefully tries to avoid imagery of the old civil war, specif specifically the Confederacy, because such uh, a thing would vilify them, uh, because that is a symbol of a... of a... Um, an insurgent government that fought against the United States, which would be completely counter to the uh, patriotic um, propaganda of the American Union state. North Carolina declares support for Huey Long. We welcome them. Where are... Where, um, there, there they are. So that basically... Yeah, that basically puts them in, under our control. Interesting. Longest malicious loose battle in Tennessee. So we tried to take over Tennessee, but we lost the second declaration of independence. I'm going to skip a bunch of the European events because uh, at the moment we've got more pressing matters. While many of the southern governors were in favor of drafting a new constitution on the spot, the urge to emulate the original rebellion against the British monarchy prevailed. A second Declaration of Independence was drafted in Baton Rouge over the course of a few days. Painstakingly emulating the original conceit of the American Revolution, this declaration outlined the lack of protection of the federal government uh, or the federal government gave to citizens, and the role of the state to protect the welfare of the poor. The signatories uh, declare that it is within their constitutional right to organize a militia against tyranny and that the federal government, uh, government's deadline should not only be ignored, it must be defied. Anuit Coeptis. Yeah, so we've got the Romanian Civil War as well. Either way, that won't be good for the oil. Syndicalists victorious in New York. Battle between syndicalist militias, uh, militia forces in New York all the way down south into New Jersey has ended with the syndicalist forces declaring victory. An unfortunate loss, so Jack Reed gets New York. That's, that's actually fucking huge for him. Uh, chief of Staff, so who shall be our Chief of Staff? George Van Horn Mosley. That's not the same Mosley, but uh, it's not uh, uh, Oswald Mosley or whatever his name is. I, for some reason I can't remember his name right now, but he's, um, you know, the shithead fascist from uh, uh, Britain in our timeline. Of course, in this timeline, he's totalist, which is, of, of course, completely different from fascism. Um, I've, I'm, I'm joking. I've, I've talked about this at length before, about uh, how uh, there's uh, roots in... or totalism has its roots in fascism in the sense that um, a lot of it stems from Sorellianism, and Sorellianism in the real world was the uh, root of fascism and George Sorel being or the Sorellians being one of the major groups of um, of the French uh, syndicalist uh, scene or socialist scene so basically they usurped the revolution to establish their own authoritarian government and you can also see the totalist most totalist leaders are fascist in r the real world well literally everyone if you're looking at Britain Italy and France but yeah, uh, George Van Horn Mosley or James Guthrie Harbaugh. So he gives uh, max entrenchment, school of defense, uh, land fort construction speed, not necessarily something we want. Uh, coastal fort, no. Anti-air, nope. But we do want the entrenchment though. While he gives production cost for towed artillery and towed rocket artillery, that is good. I've made my choice because I like the lowered production cost. This means that we can cre increase the amount of guns we create, which means we can actually increase the amount of guns we put in our army and whatnot, and it's going to be all Gucci. So this, that's a Georgia militia that goes into the garrison. The garrison, I'll actually, I've figured out what I'm going to uh, do with them. I'm going to set them up over here because we're not going to push into this stuff because this is garbage mountains uh, and... Uh, 
these garbage mountains contain... Fuck, they actually... No, yeah, they contain resources we already have. Do uh, I do want Utah, though, and Nevada. For that tungsten, that sweet, sweet tungsten. So we can create tanks and we can create uh, ships. Good song. Uh, so these militias will set them up to be... They will set them up to be a holding division, I think. Or holding... Um, uh, sorry, a, like a holding... Yeah, holding division, essentially. Their goal is uh, strictly to hold the line against the enemy. And we're going to set them up, I think, something like... That is going to be the preliminary, uh, the pr preliminary front line for them, and we're going to sort of reduce the front line for the Minutemen, and we're going, we're going to set up the Minutemen to push hard against Reed here, and we are going to try to just push straight up for New England. Federal Re Revolt failed in South Texas, so we kept uh, South Texas. Also, Trans-Pecos. I've never uh, noticed that before. Uh, the American Union State in our state Congress convenes. Though, or through the grapevine, dozens of congressmen have heard of Huey Long's assembly in Baton Rouge. Some came to visit, wish uh, Long well and stayed, others simply to court favor with the revolution. These meetings in Baton Rouge began to take on the congressional appearance, with Coughlin, oh my god, standing as the president of the attending senators. Fuck it, hell. Why do you choose him? Aware of the growing determination to defy the, the federal government, and that his lack of willingness to negotiate meant civil war is all but certain, a large number of politicians have slinked away to the north, though those that remain seem more determined than ever to see victories. Victory, sorry. Oh, chief of army. Also, we gotta start using the uh, dockyards here. So we got Edwin J uh, Emerson Jr., which isn't Elastic Defense Doctrine. We've got Chief of Army Commando Doctrine, out of supply. Mm. And we've got Mechanized... Uh, uh, so, George Smith Patton Jr., no, we're not gonna put Patton on as our Chief of Army because... He's mostly for the armored breakthrough, and we're not going to get that until late, way late in the Civil War. So we're going to go with Emerson Jr. Chilean Argentinian War. Of course, South America just fucking implodes in the Kaiserreich world. French loyalists restore the monarchy. Mm, that's messed up. Chief of Air Force, we will have... So, Charles Augustus Lindbergh, that's, uh, of course, um, the man whose uh, child was stolen, is also a very racist man. Uh, if this is L Lindbergh Jr., or whatever. Um, so, Charles Lindbergh gives uh, interception... So, air superiority is my favorite doctrine. Naval aviation, not going to be that useful, because we're not going to be fighting a huge navy. And we've got John, uh, John Gerrard... Cromlin Jr., which gives strategic bombing and stuff. We're gonna go with Lindbergh. It does seem to be this the very same Lindbergh. The deadline looms. Oh yeah, fuck, I forgot to recruit more militias. North Carolina. Peru-Bolivian Confederation. Interesting. The Second American Civil War. Fuck, I clicked it off. That's fine. We all know how this goes. We need some more. Uh, why do why do the syndicalists have the best music? What's that song? Uh, like, there's a song that goes like something. Like, I I'm not a communist, but the communists have all the good music or something like that.
Or the communists have the music or something. You know, since we're... Like, we may as well just push. Here, we're not doing anything else anyways. And why are you not assigned? Oh, he's moving. We're gonna encircle that, uh, motorized, I think. It's also enemy aircraft, I think, uh, fucking around in our airspace. Why can you not? Oh, no, that's us on uh, pilot exercise. Makes sense. We have a an outrageous amount of oil, so we may as well, but uh, not now, because now we need to fight. See, we've got close air support. Sure, uh, actually, send them over there. More close air support, we can probably send them over here. And tactical bombers, which we'll send over here as well. Actually, they've got a lot of range. We might be able to send them... No, we'll send them over there and have them bomb somewhere up here, I guess. For now. And we've got volunteers from the German Empire. Five divisions, that's very much appreciated. Thank you, uh, Kaiser Willi. Uh, we need a lot of guns. A lot. We also got our laws changed, so we now have a lot more... Oh, we need, we need these guys as well. Uh, we have a lot of, um... A lot of new, uh, or a lot of uh, factories available to us now, which we didn't have earlier. Uh, we're lacking steel, we're not gonna import from the commune, we're gonna import from the Russian Republic. Tungsten and rubber, less of a priority. I guess we actually want to... Uh, take uh, these places now because they have steel. Uh, though, if we take uh, Tennessee, we'll have the, all the steel we need. Or, or that we could ever need, I suppose. Canada supports the federal government. What the fuck? Exile British leaders and the entirety of the, yep, yep. So they supported Douglas MacArthur. Or, no, sorry, they supported the Pacific States. Yeah, Pacific States, of course. Because they are the federal government, technically. Well, we were elected, so... So there's that, but, you know. Chief of the Navy, Arthur Lee Willard, or William Frederick Halsey Jr. Uh, Halsey Jr. has a naval max range factor, which is really good. Sortie efficiency as well, which is really good. Naval speed and screen attack, which is good, and screen defense. I'm gonna go with uh, naval projection doctrine. We actually have the Loyal Navy, which is cruisers here. Uh, we need to change the icons. We're gonna change that to... Um, that's a local icon, that's gonna be light cruiser. And the fleet icon can just be fleet, that's fine. And it can be called the Loyal Navy, that's also fine. Oh, that's, I fucking hate Delaware. If you watched... Oh, Kingdom of Finland joined the Reichspact. If you watched any of my playthroughs of, um, of this, you've seen me struggle with Delaware before. So, I'll see the uh, various army reform plans. We've got mostly reform plan, which gives us uh, military factory. This is the... See, this is the defensive one. Division defense on core territory. Interesting. So it gives defense in general, but not on your own territory. And then you've got an artillery focused one. Which is really good for uh, superior firepower. Then you've got the patent reform plan, which I actually kind of want to go with. Just because this is going to be really, really cool. Actually, that one, that one seems kind of bad. But it's good if we can mass-produce tanks, but it, this is gonna be really, really cool once we get later on into the game, I think. Ah, oh, okay, so they get, they get kind of shitty to begin with, but they become better as we go further down. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so they, yeah, 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 that actually looks good, I like that. 
we're not going to get the same factories uh, at the same time as we did earlier. Like, here we, we get factories earlier on. We also still do get these guys, so that'll be fine. Uh, let's have a look here. There's, uh, yeah, there's some uh, different um, paths we can go down in terms of uh, of uh, our republic here, quote-unquote. I know which path I'm going to go down. You can suggest which one you want me to go down, but I've already made my, my choice, I think. Uh, but I am, I, I mean, I could be swayed by the comments. I'm going to go with Patton. Gonna get some guns from various uh, international actors, which is good. We're gonna keep going here. Actually, I'm gonna hold this and then assist so that we don't get the river crossing penalty. Anyways, uh, we are actually way over time, so thank you so much for watching. Uh, this is the first episode of a new series, which means that uh, the amount of support it has shown is greatly appreciated. Uh, if any, uh, and it also matters a great deal. So like likes, comments, and so on and so forth matters in terms of uh, the ratings and for how much the video is shown to other people. So if you do like this and you do want uh, to see me make more of this, show some support in whatever manner you deem appropriate. If you want to engage more deeply with the community at large, the community um, for my series and such is quite active and quite passionate in Discord, sharing flags, uh, like custom-made flags, we actually made a custom-made flag for the Führerreich playthrough, because I kind of hate the flag in that, and Bobbit Canuck in the Discord made that, as well as um, generally just like cool discussions, very civil, very like, very sober discussions, and uh, you know, general friend friendliness. Uh, you can find that community in the Discord link in the description down below. If you want to watch my shit, or see me shit posts and stuff, follow me on Twitter. It's literally just shitposting now. Uh, I've sort of given up on using that for communicating schedules and stuff. Uh, if you would like to support me financially, you can do so on Patreon. Patreon link in the, the description down below. There's only one tier, one dollar and up. You can give however much or however little you want. And finally, but most importantly I suppose, every now and then I stream live on Twitch. I chat with you guys in the chat live. Uh, I respond to most comments, and on Twitch it's way easier because they come at me live, so I can just talk to them. So if you want to hang out live and talk to me there, follow me on twitch.tv in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.